A total solar eclipse. Local agencies and bureaus, of course, are ramping up their planning efforts because millions of people will be coming to our area. That includes Oregon's Office of Emergency Management. Tonight, our Tim Becker spoke with the director today. So, Tim, what exactly is that office doing to get everybody ready? Well, for months, we have been, of course, checking in with city and regional planners in places like Madras and Oregon City. The Office of Emergency Management is doing its best to be the facilitator and contact and continuity p uh, group between all those smaller agencies. I think uh, the amount of planning that we're doing is going to minimize the impacts of anything negative that could happen. Director Andrew Phelps tells me that the impact the August 21st eclipse will have from border to border across Oregon is why his Office of Emergency Management is taking input and sharing information, resource requests, and situation analysis with local and tribal emergency managers, sort of like the conductors of the orchestra. We don't play all the instruments, but we want to make sure all the instruments are being played uh, using the right piece of music and at the right tempo and stopping and starting at the right time. If we're all talking together and all saying the same thing, hopefully some of it will begin to sink in and people will use their common sense to be prepared for an event like this. Safety. We're going to talk about this really, really briefly. Towns like Lincoln City and the eclipse's path of totality continue planning for scenarios like emergency response times, hospital access being hampered by snarl traffic, and parking problems. Phelps does say congestion is their number one problem. No one's going to be moving anywhere terribly fast, we don't think, on the 21st. So we want people to try to move uh, where they need to go as safely as possible. With a million extra people expected in Oregon the weekend before and the days after the Monday eclipse, communication and sanitation issues are also on the agency's radar screen. They warn businesses to prepare and schedule employees for a big jump in customers, for more cash transactions and possible credit card issues and waits. And their message for residents and visitors? To be prepared to wait in lines, whether it's in traffic or in a store or in a bathroom line. Uh, to be patient, to enjoy the scenery, enjoy the people around you. And again, the primary message from emergency planners, just be aware. Understand the dynamics in play and what can happen with an extra million folks hanging out in the big backyard that we call Oregon. Back to you.